Hey guys, it's Greg Jones with Engine Builder and I'm joined by Chris Wright of Pro Car Associates here. And today we are reviewing Holley's Terminator X EFI. ECUs and EFI are no longer the new kids on the block. They've been around for a while now, and more and more engines are being outfitted with EFI, and for good reason. One of the best options out there for guys of all EFI abilities comes from Holley. This here is Holley's Terminator X EFI, which offers plug-and-play domestic V8 engine control. The Terminator X comes with genuine Bosch LSU 4.9 wideband control and has eight built-in multicolor diagnostic LEDs, which allow you to identify any critical engine issues at a glance, such as ECU power, engine running, wideband status, TPS calibration, crank and cam signal, and more. Terminator X also has a built-in one bar map sensor and vacuum hose adapters included. This unit has four different inputs and four different outputs for things such as additional pressure sensors or activation triggers for nitrous or a trans brake as well as accessories such as fans, boost control, nitrous control, and more. In addition, Terminator X offers several advanced tables, integrated data logging, and free EFI tuning software. This EFI unit also has several ECU connections. The J1A main harness connector is primarily an input connector. It contains all the sensor inputs and wideband oxygen sensor control. The second connector is the J1B connector, which has eight injector outputs and outputs for other devices. You also have a map sensor, which connects to the manifold vacuum port and a main power connection, which connects to the main power harness and must be wired directly to the battery terminals. The Terminator X system integrates boost control functionality by allowing you to easily change timing and air fuel ratio without needing a laptop. And for the advanced user, Terminator X software contains a robust boost control system with dome control, boost by time, gear, RPM, speed, and built-in boost safeties. It's truly boost control at your fingertips, and there are options for nitrous control as well to be able to set min and max RPM for nitrous activation, retard or advanced timing, set target AFR, and even build custom progressive curves for both nitrous percentage and ignition timing. All right, so I've been telling you guys a lot about the specs that come with Holley's Terminator XEFI, but Chris is the guy who you know knows this stuff in and out, and he's using it every day. So I'm going to let him talk a little bit more about some of the features that I just mentioned. Yeah, I, I, excellent. <laughs> As you know, uh, Holley is near and dear to my heart. They're a great company to work with. Um, gotten to know the team over there at different levels for many years now, and I can't say enough about the product. Mm -hmm. That they've come out with you know and, and the terminator x family is a newer platform over the last few years okay um you know holly if you look at from an efi standpoint they're a market leader now i mean the united states from a domestic standpoint and domestic applications between gm chrysler ford okay they've got great solutions for all mm -hmm. of those now absolutely and so it was very much for us a no-brainer to say hey holly can we use your platform on this this would be great right mm -hmm. Um, we do tune a lot of it here. Yes, I've been a Holly dealer for many years now. Done a lot of testing. I've got it on my engine dyno, interface to my engine dyno, running all kinds of sensors and stuff because it's almost like a little computer yep. in the sense of a programmable like logic controller, if you will. Yeah. Because now this particular unit with the Terminator X, you know, they went to a more a lightweight platform. It's not potted like the Dominator or HP, but it's a more cost effective solution. Yeah. So for the average hot rodder, okay who doesn't like a laptop, they can at least yep. have a nice, easy interface to do the basic setups and the things they need yeah. so they don't have to use a laptop. Right, because. and that, that's your handheld and unit that, right there. Exactly, yep. with the handheld, exactly. So, you know, they did a good job of creating a user, a usable platform for what I say, the average person who, who really doesn't like all the little techie stuff, right, mm -hmm. with computers. So it was a good way to marry everything. And in this kit, you pretty much got everything you need um, from the standpoint of the main engine harness to the power supply to the injector harness. And then in this engine build, we're actually going to integrate a coil on plug 
you know, uh, yeah, ignition smart, smart coil, smart yeah. coil yeah. It's because this will run the smart coils on it. So mm -hmm. you can use distributor smart coils, you know, like you mentioned earlier with nitrous control applications. You know, again, this is a basic unit here. You can expand upon this. They have CAN interface modules now to expand the I.O. capability. Mm -hmm. They have the Terminator X Max, okay, which again is this platform just added on for transmission control or drive by wire. Yeah. All right. In this particular case, we're going to use a, you know, a cable driven or mechanically driven, you know, throttle body. So we didn't need all of that. So we went with a much simpler application, you know, yeah. simpler platform. Yeah. But very good stuff. Very simple to use. <clears throat> they did a good, you can even, if you want to do more than just the handheld, you can plug in with your laptop and use the software mm -hmm. and custom do everything if you want to. Yeah. So very flexible platform, very easy to use in my opinion. Okay. And Quite frankly, it's our it's our go to when we have a domestic car. Is our yeah, car. yeah. So. Now, Chris, if uh, anyone out there is a little bit like me, you know, you're seeing a lot of wires out here. Um, what's the setup on this like? You know, is it pretty straightforward in terms of getting this thing all outfitted on an engine? Yeah, they, you know, if you if you look at how they do the harness in general, they got everything pretty very well labeled. Yep. Okay. Mm. And and honestly, the the main header connectors that plug into the ECM. Whether it's this this Terminator X platform or if it's a HP or Dominator, they all use the same. Mm -hmm. So you can use this harness with another ECM of theirs. Okay. Okay. It doesn't have to be the Terminator yeah. ECM, but um, from a setup standpoint and a wiring standpoint, the directions and everything actually is in the software. If you're familiar with software, you can get into it. But honestly, the paperwork they give you, mm -hmm. it's pretty straightforward. I mean, for a novice, yeah. you know, you can generally figure it out. Don't get me wrong. There's usually, you know, little things here and there somebody may not understand. And we get those customer calls or somebody mm -hmm. has questions. And, you know, it, it, again, it, it just is about your level of understanding sure. of the devices and components that you're hooking up. Sure. So, but for the most part, they pretty much made it simple. I mean, I got to give them credit. Yeah. They've done their homework. They got a lot of help. You know, I happen to know, like I said, a lot of the team there really well. And you'll see the videos online with Tom and. You know, they've done a really good job of getting the information out there to try mm -hmm. to make it as simple for the end user as possible. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Well, yeah, we're excited, like Chris said, to put this Terminator XEFI in our small block Ford build. And uh, again, like Chris said, Holly's become a market leader in this stuff and then they, they have a great product. So if you guys are curious to check out more, make sure you're checking out holly.com. And uh, until then, you know, we appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.